To grow a tropical rainforest in the Cornwall chill takes some energy, and in the search for a sustainable source of heat, the Eden project is going underground. This 450-tonne drill is boring nearly three miles into the Earth's crust in search of hot rocks. Water that's pumped down, then brought to the surface again, could be superheated to 180 degrees. That's enough to generate all the electricity and heat that Eden needs, plus more for thousands of local homes. It is going to provide baseload, which is the holy grail of energy. The argument from those who were anti-renewables was when the wind don't blow and the sun don't shine, you've got a problem. Now you haven't. This will provide you energy 24-7 when you want it to fill in for all the other energy sources. So it's a, tri a wonderful uh, triumvirate of power sources. Geothermal energy could be tapped across large areas of the UK, north and south. The rocks are hot enough in some parts to supply 20% of the total UK electricity demand. Elsewhere, even slightly cooler areas could heat every home and business in the country. It's taken 10 years and £17 million to get this drill in the ground, and it is that enormous upfront cost that has been the major deterrent to geothermal here in the UK. But the people behind this project believe they can produce energy for the same price as gas, but without the carbon. It's all about incentives and innovation, says the president of this year's climate change conference, who got the hard sell on a walk around the site. At one point, of course, uh, you know, offshore wind was quite expensive to generate, and yet, because we supported it through the contracts for different auction processes, at the next round, of course, is later on this year, uh, we've managed to build the biggest offshore wind sector in the world. So if you're creating revenue mechanisms, it is possible for new industries to come through. There is still risk in geothermal. Until the drill has done its work in five months' time, Eden's engineers can't be certain they can extract enough hot water. But if it does work as well as they hope, the site will be carbon negative in just two years. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Cornwall.